I um and my new I didn't band, get to listen to all of it. I like Pop Perversion. That's a great name. And I haven't oh, checked out you. Pop Perversion yet, but I checked out um Well the we Final just Boss premiered it right before today. you came up. Oh yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Uh what did you yes. think? It's a weird one, right? Oh, I like it. Um, I haven't gotten through it all yet, but I like it a lot. And um, it's an adventure. I missed the pop version. I had to step away and take a phone call. So I missed that. But wow, that's neat. I like that logo. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, it's my new that's 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 gonna be my focus. Like the solo albums are cool, they're weird, but like right. this is the band, this is the rock band, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that shit was just like basically pandemic experiments so i was explaining before i don't know how you this would be a good question to ask you but for me like when i write music it's just ideas that come to my head i don't sit down to write i just get ideas like divine intervention and they become my songs you know no matter what the style is it just filters through the sounds that i like and it becomes one of my songs um yeah i usually does, hear how does that work for you or something i hear something and i'm like oh no that's so great and it'll just start the whole thing it's right. usually some kind of catchy something you know mm-hmm. that i hear yes or I just think like a or riff a or whatever you know um i was gonna i had the concept of a song about uh the goldilocks zone you know that's like the earth wouldn't exist if i mean if we wouldn't have life on earth if the, this area didn't exist to have so we have water and air and so you think about something like that and you're like oh my god you know how could anybody be oh, so you're thinking Why lyrically we... yes and and okay. then but then musically it's um i like heavy but i like all sorts of stuff i i am very i have a very mm-hmm. eclectic taste yeah in music, well same so, here yeah. i mean that's why my songs are all yeah, different all over the place styles even though the sound is what brings it together you know right it sounds like the same band playing this song i like the con uh the concept of the final boss right so what i was going with that's very neat thank you uh this see i had to explain that because the solo albums were basically pandemic experiments of me doing the exact opposite of actually just sitting down with an instrument and like writing something right without having an idea at all and right. that's how those songs came out. And that's why they're so weird and like eclectic, you know. But there's a like, theme. They're, the songs are eclectic, but there's a theme. Yes. Once I had the music. I like that. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah, kind yeah, of a neat thing. Adventure. That's like kind of like the rock opera thing. And, and it's kind of neat. Yeah, so, exactly. I like Thank that. You. That's yeah. very creative and cool. You know, what I've discovered is, you know, the pandemic was shitty. And that was really, that, that felt awful and all these different things. And it was worrisome. Um. What, I, what I'm noticing about myself, you know, because I suffer from a little bit of depression and I was thinking, you know, it really you, expression is is the, the canceling of depression. But sometimes when you get depressed, you don't feel like creating because you're down. Mm. It's weird. It's kind of like you have mm. to it, you almost have to um, fake it until you feel it kind of thing. You got to. Um, because in the well, doing can, is where you get better yeah. the, the, the creating right. is where you get better the doing is you know pick up and I, I saw a lot of people during the pandemic were doing a lot and i just couldn't do anything it just the way i to me it was like i became a shoegazer it was mm. really weird you know like i couldn't deal but there, it is it's in the do you know expression will cancel depression and Mm. it's just hard to get there sometimes if you're in the depression already so you just have to you have to fake it and break out you know you have to watch three stooges you know what i mean like you have to or green acres or green acres you have to it'll seem unnatural and it'll seem um phony it it won't feel authentic because you're depressed but you just have to like break out of it somehow every cover (gasps) is hand drawn oh that's great um, Every I don't know cover. how far you got into this, but there's definitely a song on here that's kind of like really the meat. Uh, it's the most uncomfortable one to listen to, and it's definitely a a, a result of a depressing situation. You right, know? and it's definitely like it's so raw. I I like recorded it that day, the vocals and the guitar, and you'll you'll know it when you hear it. It's called "I Don't Want to Be Sad Anymore." And it's like, uh-huh. 
as as fun and and you know as the like the story is around that right that's really like the centerpiece of the album which is like this is all a game literally because it's like right. the final boss game but the game is is life and and the the feelings within are are very real does that make did right. that make sense i just ran totally and I, the little segues in between the songs that i heard i'm not too deep in yet but it, they're yeah. they're they were they're like a commentary on this it's very meta yes yeah, yeah. and so um and that also lightens the mood because if you, yeah. if you have a song called Too Many Pills without um, video game commentary over it, it gets even a little bit too serious. <laughs> right, right. Um, too Many Pills, I liked that really Thank a lot. You. And um, the, the longer song following it. And I, I am, you know, I'm all for being creative and getting, I mean, rock and roll has saved my ass so many times from my depression. From mm -hmm. It saved me from challenging life experiences where shit's coming down but you got to go you got to go rock you know you got to rock no matter what you the show must go on mm -hmm. you know like incredibly difficult life experiences which life is just going to happen and um so um i know it sounds corny but i'm super grateful to have been able to play rock and it's still cathartic for me and it's still saving mm -hmm. my ass after all this time. Amen. 